Every artist gets bad reviews. Dave Bickler talks about one really bad Survivor review that stuck with him. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. When I wrote for print for I think around 12 years, I was fascinated by the fact that when I wrote a bad review sometimes, even when I was not sharp, I could get sharp, but I don't really do that anymore. And let's remember, there are people who release albums that really shouldn't be even singing in the shower. But now and then when I would write a negative review, I would get emails from people just being incredibly angry. It's not only the relatives or the friends, and they write a lot and mostly. Everyone has fans. I asked Dave Bickler about negativity. It's something we talk about an awful lot on this channel where sometimes things are said and it's not necessary. It's just done for hits. I could bitch about a lot of bands on this channel just for hits, but I won't do that. I don't want to be that guy. So I asked Dave Bickler and he gave me a doozy story. I can't help it. But, you know, you, you do have to kind of just, what can, what can you do? You know, some people are going to like what you do and some people aren't. I, I do have a funny story about that though. Mm -hmm. I was in an airport and I saw this billboard, uh, re billboard reviews, and it was it was a it was a billboard magazine, a special edition, just devoted to reviewing all these albums from a certain time period, you know, and, and showing the going back, which is kind of unusual. I don't know, I don't know if I bought it or not. I, I don't have it anymore. But I looked up. Oh, it's the same. It's Survivor's first album was in that time period. So I, I looked it up, and here's what the review said. It said, Bachman Turner Overdrive without the hits. <gasps> how's that for how's that for rough it didn't make sense to me though because i i really like randy bachman i like his voice but i don't think we sound anywhere even close to to you know alike in any way i can't so i couldn't i was like what <laughs> when we're in high school we suck up as much music as we can you know the teenage years are and if you're listening very carefully to the stuff that's coming out when you're a teenager we learn so much during that period these are songs that that changed the trajectory of our lives. We remember those moments in time where we heard certain songs in certain bands. That's the reason I ask almost every artist I talk to, when you left home, what were the albums in your record collection? Because that phase, teenage phase, was done by then. Well, that would have been, uh, you know, I, it was about 1971 or 72, probably, that I left, so... You know, Led Zeppelin, The Stones, Bad Company. Uh. Dave Bickler's brand new album, which I'm totally in love with, is called Dark Light. You got to listen to this album. It's really good. Such a great driving record. Go to DaveBickler.com for more details. We'll have more from Dave coming up next Tuesday. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. Mm -hmm.